Okay, I'm getting scared because Liam Taylor is in the building. Music man at LT Guitar, a music mercenary. He's going to teach me to make a decent sound with a ukulele and hopefully show me how it actually should sound as well. That's coming up after Peter Gabriel, Salisbury Hill. You're listening to Spanners on BBC Radio Cambridgeshire. I normally say it's going to be okay, but I, I can't see how. I'm joined in studio by the Mount, Man Mountain, a giant <laughs> of music, Liam Taylor. Hello, Liam. Hi, I need to get you to do my uh, press releases from now on. Well, look at you. Look at you. You're about you're eight foot tall. <laughs> yeah, eight you've foot. Got, yeah. You've got rock star hair because yep. it's like down to your back and in a ponytail. Yeah, it's in a ponytail so it doesn't go everywhere. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's not many red-headed individuals that would do that. Red-headed? Well, it's got a tint, hasn't it? It has. I think it's because I've been out in the sun so much because ah, I'm such an extrovert. So, uh, so That's what that is. <laughs> you don't. You're a fellow shed dweller like me. Yeah, it's all about the shed these days, isn't it? Yeah, so uh, converting your... an outdoor space. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's just because it's soundproof and yeah. I have a family. So mm. I can hide in there. I can be doing anything I want. I yeah. could have finished my work and be playing <laughs> virtual reality uh, sim racing. No one needs to know. No one it's needs the, to know. Uh... Just don't admit it on radio. That's the secret. <laughs> um, in your shed, though, you do a lot of music production, uh, YouTube, uh, podcasting. I always describe you as a music mercenary. Yeah. Because we can't all be Taylor Swift and Ed Sheeran. No, no, I think only two people can be those people. Exactly two. <laughs> all right. You've thwarted me with maths here. Uh, so today we're talking about learning an instrument. Mm -hmm. So the, the most important thing uh, is, is all my family can, can play instruments. They're very smug about it. Yeah. I'm a 39 year old man. I've got no bass musical experience. Is it, is it too late for me? It depends what you want to do. If you want to build a career off it, it might be a little bit too late God, maybe you're I don't know. so you're telling me i'm not going to be after today headlining at wembley is that what you're saying it's not happened before but there could be a first time i could be the first person I to learn know. ukulele in a radio station <laughs> then sell out wembley stadium i mean you have at least got the platform of being on bbc radio so. but from a pleasure point of view just to be able to join in with my family as they're playing their guitars oh, yeah. and things and pianos not too late for me no absolutely not. all right well let's see what we can do well, we're going to talk about learning a musician uh, learning a musician no learning, learning a, musician. a musical let's learn a musical instrument uh maybe at an older age uh, we'll talk about the approach uh, why people fail maybe even help us to choose an instrument uh, let's listen to george michael first faith and then we'll be back with more liam taylor you're listening to spanners it's saturday lunchtime and across me taking a selfie uh, is Liam Taylor, LT guitarist, who's going to teach me how to, to play the ukulele or, or just at least make a little bit of a sound. We're going to get you to make any sound. Any sound. That's going to be a bonus. A win. Any sound. The thing that's really scaring me is the strum. Right. Yeah. And also what scares me is being over 35 and having a selfie taken when I'm not ready for it. Okay, yeah. You need to give me time to stick my chins out to make it look flat and to suck my <laughs> cheeks in. You have to help me with this. You, don't, you yeah. don't do all of those things when you're presenting on radio because I do that as a no, podcast. I am. So you've got to inhale the gut before you start talking. They say people can hear a smile, but I am slouched <laughs> over this desk. I'm frowning. I'm sad. I'm in an anxiety sweat. So, and apparently you can hear all that as well. So that's good. <laughs> Liam Taylor, it's hey. all about you. you you are a music mercenary. Uh, you uh, you have made a living, though, out of music. You're yeah. not a pop star, but that is your money comes from music, audio production, and teaching people on occasion. I think I'm a pop star. Well, Come on. Pop star in your <laughs> eyes. But you're helping us with learning an instrument today. Uh, why? Okay. A lot of people start mm. to learn an instrument. It's a little bit like the gym, isn't it? <laughs> it isn't it. People start it and then yeah. it just drifts off. Why, why do people fail at learning an instrument? It is exactly like the gym. In January, you're going to get so many people buying an instrument, going to the gym, and how long are they going to stick with that? Maybe a month? And then how long are they going to keep the membership? How long are they going to keep the guitar in the case? Probably years and never touch it okay. again. I, I know we're talking, but the yeah. way you're looking directly at me <laughs> is like saying, you, Spanners, you're going to leave that yeah. ukulele in its case <laughs> for a year. I, I mean, I would love to stick at it. Is, is it a daunting proposition, do you think, for someone with no musical uh, background at all like me no not at all because you, you've just got to find the way that you will access it so if you're if you're good at seeing patterns if you're good at with numbers there will be a mathematical route into it you look terrified by the proposition of <laughs> maths <laughs> no one told me there'd be maths right okay fine okay okay but uh, okay so why is it hard okay so like what is it about music that is hard 
It's, I think it's two things. First off, there's the physical pain aspect, which is exactly like going to the gym. Being yeah. on a treadmill hurts after the first eight seconds. Not, holding... at the, not at the pace I go. It's very gentle, very relaxed. It's yes. not just sitting next to the treadmill. So there's, yeah, there's a physicality with any yeah. new repetitive task. Yeah. You're going to, even like with a violin, I guess, mm -hmm. you'll suddenly go, oh man, my shoulder hurts yeah. from holding it up. With the drum kit, you've got to spread your whole body out. You've got to get your legs yeah. going with your arms. That's really tough. With guitars or any stringed instrument, the physical pain of having to grip the strings, yes, you've got to build up those calluses. That. I found a little badge here that oh, yeah. says, uh, Be the Wonder. So I don't know what show this was from, but I'm thinking this could be like a, the twangy twangy thing. What, the plectrum? Yeah. The twangy twangy thing. It could be called, yeah. we could call it either. We don't have to get hung up on terminology. They, they used to be called plectrums and then we started calling them picks because that oh, was easier. So I you see. can't then go, you can't go adding extra words to make it simpler. Fine. I yield to your musical <laughs> knowledge. I can use this as the, the ple do you use a plectrum on ukulele? No. No. So I've just got to you, you just got to use fingers. your thumb and fingers. Yes. Thumb for you. So my thumb. Is that what I'm going to do? So thumb. <laughs> yeah, I think thumb so. Thumb's probably strum. easier. Thumb to strum. It rhymes, so it must be We've true. We've made up a teaching tool there. That's good. Uh, so uh, you, it's funny we mentioned uh, the physicality of it. Mm. And I uh, used two examples, of, uh, like the drums and the violin. No grown-up learns the violin, do they? I don't think any adult human goes, well, I, I would like to learn an inch. I know the violin. I don't think that happens. Yeah. I think if you don't play the violin when you're three... You're never playing the violin. I want to start a campaign to stop grown-ups getting their kids to learn violin because it's small and cute or whatever. <laughs> it sounds horrible. If you can't play the violin, it's the worst instrument. Are we going to get, oh, no, please say none of the classical Cambridge people are listening. No, but... no, because they can actually play. That's oh, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can actually play violin, it, it's wonderful. I think, I think there's four people that can play violin and everyone else is terrible. Uh, okay, so <laughs> look, we're going to play some music. But but first of all, who who sh what should I pick? So as a, what should I pick? I, I don't think drums is for me. No. It's a bit smashy. I had a go on my son's <laughs> drums. It's a bit aggressive, if I'm honest with you. It's high energy. Drum, drums are big and yeah. they're a bit scary and they make a lot of noise. I mean, what kind of music do you listen to? Do you listen to funk, soul, rap? So, what are you into? Well, you're asking me this on air, so yeah. I've got, I want to be cool and say I'm, <laughs> I'm listening to grime. Sure. And bit. Yes. In reality, I do like the old, like Leanne Rhymes with the old okay. like singer songwriter stuff. Yeah. So I do. I don't mind a plinky plonky. Sure. At all. So maybe guitar is the the instrument to aim for, but then I think ukulele is a good um, way into guitar. It's a lot of the same skills. Lucky, lucky, lucky then it's all worked out. We've brought both of us. You yeah. said bring a ukulele in. Yeah. <laughs> what? As if you'd assume <laughs> there would be a ukulele in my house. But I'm, there was. Your wife's a musician, yeah. so I knew there would be a ukulele. Yeah, and I asked her, and she was like, it's in the music instrument cupboard. <laughs> so we have a music instrument cupboard. I had no oh. idea. There's recorders in there. Egg shakers. The, the egg shakers, miracle things. There's, yeah. there's about 10 recordery-looking things. Right. Are they different sizes? I or? think they're called piccolos, actually. I'm having a memory. Okay. I think they're called piccolos. Oh, uh, yeah, she's in the music <laughs> cupboard. She goes in there, she picks it out, she tunes it for me. She's mm. never played the ukulele. Sure. And then she goes, oh, hang on a minute. I reckon I could learn this. Ten minutes later, yep. she came back. And I just, I feel so inadequate right now. <laughs> so I need to catch up. Uh, but not before. Scouting for Girls and This Ain't a Love Song. Scouting for Girls, This Ain't a Love Song on BBC Radio Cambridge. I'm here with music man, Liam Taylor. You were asking me what kind of music, you know, I'm into. Mm. And like Scouting for Girls, it fits into that category that I used to call generic guitar band number X. Yeah. Uh, you know, like Kasabian, Razor Light, that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, Because that's, it's, they've sort of, that kind of music's kind of faded out a little bit. But yeah. it was it was everything in Trans the early Ferdinand. noughties. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah Kasabian, Everywhere. that kind of thing. Yeah, I could be that. Because that's going to come round again at some point, isn't it? I remember those bands because when I was at school and like the other kids acknowledged, oh, that kid is into rock music and heavy metal. He must really like Kasabian. I was like, oh, you guy, I hate you so much. <laughs> oh, so you weren't a fan of that was wave? Not, uh, because right. it had guitars in it, but it wasn't ACDC, so I wasn't into it. I've moved on a little bit since then. I should <laughs> Wait specify, a minute. But... Are, you, are you a hipster? Are you one of these who's like, oh, it's popular, so I hate it now? Yeah, I work in education, so I feel like I've got to be a little bit hipster. <laughs> You've got to be cool. I, t I tell you what, I need a slight diversion because mm -hmm. I've had a German-speaking uh, person get in touch and suggest a word mm -hmm. for... keep. We had Keeping Up With The Joneses. It wasn't quite Keeping okay. Up With The Joneses. It was going to someone's place, seeing what they had and gone, oh, now I want that, mm. right? So we've had a suggestion. Now, you you can say the word better than uh, me because you speak a little German. Kopigier? Kopigier, right. Kopigier, and that is from... Uh, from Jana and Lauren. Thank you very much. Copagear means copying greed. Ooh. I'm going to try and make that a thing. So I've seen my friend's material ex uh, thing <laughs> and said, I want that as well. Copia Greer. Co Copagear? Copagear. 
I'm I saying like it, it like it's a question because I'm not 100% sure. I'm, I'm just going to start. I'm just going to start. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to start using it with an unearned authority. Yeah, perfect. I'm just going to go, oh, I'm experiencing some copa <laughs> gear. And they, what, what's that? It's, oh, it's a German word. Uh, I believe was coined on air. Well, anyways, that's not what we're talking about. <laughs> Music, right. Learning instruments. Mm-hmm. I've, I'm picking ukulele. Yes. Right? Because drums are too energetic. Yep. The violin is ridiculous, an mm. impenetrable, magical wall of noise that four people can play. So we're doing ukulele. Uh, we're talking about, you know, how difficult it is and the things that make it hard. So physically it can be hard. Mm. Uh, have you, uh, my, my wife says not everyone can sing, right? right? Do you ever look at some people and go, do you know what? You shouldn't play an instrument. E- oh, man. Be, I'm gonna... be, look, the truth is more important than being nice. Okay, The truth is more important than potential future business. Oh, yeah, good point. No, I, I tell you, <laughs> what I see is a lot of people who their kind of motivation is a little bit wonky. So they'll, they'll say they want to learn music, they want to do it as a career, but actually it's like, well, you're not practicing in between lessons. So how much oh. do you really... So it's more about someone's approach and someone's attitude that I question rather than they themselves. I think everyone has the potential to... Oh, that's um, that's quite a skillful weasel out of the real Thanks. answer, that's which is do. that sometimes you look at people and go, no, you shouldn't be playing an instrument, you're terrible at this. It must happen. Or you, you shouldn't be singing quite so loud quite so soon, <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Um, you were saying that, oh, what's your motivation for doing it? Mm. And it's, it's a really interesting question because one of the reasons probably people quit is because the novelty wears off and there's no fire under your under your seat yeah. to make you do it because you kind of don't want to be that guy the, the almost David Brent character who goes hey guys we've got a bit of a lull where we're waiting for the delivery I'm just going to crack up my ukulele and mm. start playing the tune so where's there's no platform to show off when are you going to use your skill as a 39 year old I'm not going to do, go to a ukulele <laughs> recital and invite my family to come and watch me I mean, you can get pleasure out of playing an instrument for its own value, for the pleasure that you get doing it. And you don't yeah, need to that, show off, do you? Doesn't that wear off? Maybe, but then we've also got YouTube, we've got podcast starter, beginning ukulele podcast. We probably don't already have one. Yeah, all right. Okay, let's... Oh, oh is that sarcastic? Because there's loads of ukulele podcasts. I, I haven't looked into it, but I imagine <laughs> there will be some. But you haven't done one. No, yeah. no, I haven't done one. Okay, so so that's the... So you think that everybody can do it so long yeah. as they keep they keep that motivation up. Right. Pretty much, or, or they're honest about their motivation. Okay, yeah. but it's a difficult skill, and, yeah. it's, and it's daunting. Uh, the, the one thing I'm, I'm trying to keep, give me hope for is I've learned a lot of new skills with media, because all yeah. I want to do is the talky-talky. Mm. But actually, like, this array of... This looks like a NASA control panel in front of me, <laughs> and at first, like, it, it made me want to run out of the office yeah. screaming out of the studio. Um, but, you know, skills, they, they do embed in you, don't they? And, yeah. and suddenly you go, I can't believe I found that so hard. Yeah. How long does that take? <laughs> oh, well, I mean, that basically depends on how much practice you put in and how smart you are with practice. So I'm not going to put a number on it, I'm afraid. Uh, well, we could we could do a ballpark, couldn't we? If I'm okay, yeah. so if there's anyone out there listening who says, "Do you know what? I'm I am motivated by this this giant mm. of music, Hello. Liam Taylor, Hello. Uh, also of stabbedpanda.com. Yeah. Uh, I want to start. What's c- could we go? Okay, by the end of the year, I can play a song. Or is yeah. it quicker than that? Yeah, I mean, find a simple song to begin with. Don't go playing uh, crazy Ungvi Ung- Malmsteen songs, and there's going to be three listeners who know who that is. You're welcome. I think um, it's worth it. I don't mind yeah. if that's a joke <laughs> and three people found that funny. I don't mind. Just find some really simple songs. Uh, traditional Christmas songs are a really good one because you already know how they go. And then get a ukulele. They cost less than 30 quid, and they maybe even will throw in a, uh, a chord book. Okay. And then you go to somewhere like ultimateguitar.com and you work out how to play the simplest songs you can. Uh, okay, uh, ultimateguitar.com or, or any guitar retailer. Yep. Um, so I'm holding in front of me. Is this a good ukulele that I've got? It I'm lo- going to make a looks- sound. Go on. There we go. You've just played a C6 chord. I knew that. Yeah, really <laughs> good. Slightly out of tune, but I think that, that matches your personality just fine. Um, I feel I feel bad now. I feel did you attacked. pick it up by the headstock? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah should you not do that? You should not pick okay, it so up. How how do I hold it? I know this is a bit visual, but this well, is going to work really well. I tell you what, we'll do. We'll, do <laughs> we'll we'll play a song, and you give me the basics of holding it. Okay, and then I will try to make a sound. Okay, okay. so uh, given given that I'm just using this as my personal opportunity to enrich myself and mm. learn music, we should pay the bills as well yeah. by by talking about the weather, Liam. Right, there are flood warnings out. And- I could have just said it's going to be mild. That would have saved some time. But yeah, it's unseasonably unseasonably warm. Liam, I'm still waiting for some snow. Can we not have some snow 
It's not going to happen this winter. She still likes snow. I, I don't look at me like only children like <laughs> snow. I love snow. I love the magic of the. You love snow when it's settled yes. and you're walking through it, and That's there's right. a layer of ice underneath yeah. it, and it's slushy and horrible, and you can't get to work. You love that. I like it when it dances that fine line between not stopping me doing anything, but it's plausible that I couldn't get into work and I have to call in. No, but, fair oh, enough. Oh, yeah. the snow! I can't call in. <laughs> And yeah, uh, anyway, sorry, right, completely distracted. Uh, Texas coming up next. Are you a fan? I, I, I like to go to Texas. I basically, because you're, I don't have, you know, good musical taste particularly, so I'm told from my picks. <laughs> so I, I will look to you and just copy your opinion. Okay. So, so do you like it? You like it? Yes, yeah, all right. All right. Coming up is Texas that I love, actually, with <laughs> Black Eyed Boy. That's Texas, Black Eyed Boy. I'm joined by uh, Liam Taylor at LT Guitarist, stabpanda.com, covering new music and stuff. So, after our little rehearsal during that <laughs> song, how are you feeling? Are you feeling optimistic? I, I like how optimistic you are. Oh my God. That's giving me... I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like I was born to do this. Okay, so you taught me yep. to... What? Chords. 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 That's a chord. Yeah, that's a whole whole chord. My whole life, people have been talking about oh, playing chords, yeah. and that was it. That's that was you, it. the two things you taught me are playing a chord. Well, the two things are two chords. You've learned two chords. Okay, I've learned two chords. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so not even together. So I've, I've yeah. learned two chords. Two chords. Right. So I'm going to do those. Is yeah. is one strum? That's yeah. the note. Is it? That's the chord. So uh, you, you strum. That's the action you do with yeah. your thumb or finger to hit the strings to make the noise. Okay. So I'm going to make an, two noises now. Yeah. You're going to strum a so, C chord, and it's going to be great. Yeah, and now you're going to strum Did it. Did that sound right? It sounded right. Oh, Slightly oh, oh, oh. out of tune, but you picked it up by the headstock, so whatever. What does that mean? That doesn't mean anything. Them, little, sil them little silvery bits. Oh, I picked yeah, it up by that. Don't touch them. So I've, un I've detuned it by picking it up by that. Yeah. Oh, God, but it's I fine. Well, I blame, I blame the teacher, to be honest. Okay, so that was a C. That was a C. Really nice C. Excellent. And the other one you taught me was, let's see from That's memory. F, I believe. Yeah. So I can do them together, can I? Yeah. Can you give me four of one, then four of the other? I can try. Here we go. Yeah. I'm basically a musician now. <laughs> that are. is amazing. Tell you what, why don't we have a listen to somebody doing it properly on a much nicer yellow ukulele. Right, yellow. Yeah, right. go on. Give us give us give us a bit. My give hands bit. are Here cold, so let's see how this goes. The excuse is coming in. <laughs> I thought you were going to sing some music and say some words. I don't sing Spanish. Oh, I liked it though. It definitely sounded <laughs> it's better. cute, isn't it? How long will it take me to get from 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 what I just did, which I'm still very proud of? Yeah, oh, you should be. That was great. Cool. So it took me to learn that. It took me a fortnight in Tenerife. Oh, okay. You've got to be in Tenerife, otherwise it doesn't work. Well, I'll see you back in a couple of weeks then. <laughs> I'm off to, I need some cover for next week, because I'm going to be clearly in Tenerife. Thank you so much. No worries. Liam thanks. Taylor, LT guitarist, Stab Panda for new music, and... How could we forget your YouTube channel? Yeah. The Conversation Hat podcast yeah. as well. Is that a video too? Uh, there are videos, mm. but it's on all podcast platforms, Spotify, Apple, wherever you get podcasts. A man of many talents. Sadly, yeah. not uh, Taylor Swift or Ed Sheeran, <laughs> uh, but making a living. Yeah. All right, I'll give you the choice now. Okay, so got a choice between Chris Rea, mm -hmm. Road to Hell, or Sophie B. Hawkins, Damn, I Wish I Was Your Lover. There's people are going to love or hate you it's, based on this choice. It's going to be Sophie B. Hawkins, isn't it? Let's do it. Yeah. Thanks very much, Liam. You're listening to Spanners on BBC Radio Cambridgeshire. Let's catch up with Swanee, find out what's going on in the sport.